is the story all about how Hester's life got flipped turned upside down. If you'd like to read the novel, just sit right there. It'll tell you how she came to wear this blood air. Born in Boston, Massachusetts, born and raised, a blameless citizen is how she spent most of her days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool when she was doing all the things a Puritan should do. When a couple of thoughts that were up to no good started telling her to be not good, she committed one little sin and the town got scared. They said, punish her by death or wear this blood air. She wore this blood air day after day and all it did was drive the people away. They gave her some glares and they used it for sewing. She sucked it up and thought, guess I owe him. Chilling's worth. Yo, he's bad. Trying to get me to tell him where the daddy at? You think you're my husband, not all that amount? Nah. You're sick in the head. But wait, I hear the others getting sicker and sicker. And all they do is send a doctor who's bitter? I don't know. We'll see when they meet up. I hope you're prepared for another letter. So, uh, they met up in the forest one day, and together they made some plans to run away. You may ask, why would they do that? Well, kids, because Simsdale is the real dad. They waited for the election, and as it grew near, things as well failed, and a new spirit appeared. If anything, Hester said it was just weird, but she thought, nah, forget it. The end is so near. He walked up on the scaffold and he took both their hands and he yelled to the town, Yo, Holmes, I'm the daddy. He looked at the village. He was finally free from the death of the sin and could be with the deities.